So, thanks to iOS 11, iPhones and iPads now have their own official screen recorder. Where does that leave everything else? Hello everyone, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. And by September, October time, we all hope that Apple have ironed out any of the current bugs in their official screen recorder for when iOS 11 is finally released. But where does that leave the rest of the gang, such as Evrecord, Airshow, Visorec? These chaps have been around for years trying to help us out with screen recordings. Does the advent of iOS 11 completely destroy that? Well, let's take a quick look at what currently happens with existing screen recorders on this beta release of iOS 11. Okay, first order of business, let's confirm that we are still on iOS 11 beta by going to the settings and checking the software update, and indeed we are on iOS 11. And if I scroll up from the control center, we can see that we have the official Apple screen recorder right there. And just before we move into the bulk of this video, I just want to reiterate you download iOS 11 at your own risk. It is in beta, it's buggy as hell, and it's likely to be terrible as a daily driver device. A lot of people have been commenting saying, I downloaded iOS 11, it's not working, how do I roll it back? Well, I did say that at the time, and you've done that at your own risk, and I'm not really here to help you fix it. I'm here to show you what's coming up in the future. All right, let's get on to testing some existing screen recorders. I'm going to test the three principal recorders that we've been looking at over the past year, those being Airshow, Visorec, and Evrecord. And we'll start with Visorec. This one has been a very reliable screen recorder when available. Unfortunately, I only have version 2 on my device, and 2.1 is not available because Visorec have taken down the download link. Anyway, we'll start a recording and see what happens. It's very simple, this process. Press the Start Record button and see what happens. And with Visorec, when I press the Start Record button, it goes onto a waiting whirly gig, and I could sit here for the next 20 years, and it probably isn't going to start recording, because for whatever reason, the iOS 11 update has broken the recording of Visorec, at least for version 2. If anyone has version 2.1 and iOS 11, although I don't encourage you to just go on and get iOS 11 just to test this, do let me know if it works. But as of now, it seems to me that iOS 11 has potentially broken the way that Visorex Airplay works in order to start a recording. So that one gets a big thumb down from me. All right, onto my tried and trusted ally for the last 18 months, Airshow. You know that I'm absolutely in love with this application because it's just worked basically, except for all the certificate and version number problems. We'll confirm the version number here, which is 061, the one that is most likely to do a good screen recording. So let's give it a try. Go to record, next step. And as usual, you would bring up the control center. It does look a little different, obviously, on iOS 11, but we do have screen mirroring for Airshow. Let's tap that, and hopefully that should start a recording. It did look as if it started a recording with a screen shift there. We can see the red bar at the top. So let's very quickly go to, I don't know, Class Royale and maybe open a chest or something. And we'll see if any of this works. I haven't really got any chests to open, so we'll just start the unlocking of a chest. We've got a few sound effects there, which should be enough to give us a half decent screen recording. Let's go back to Airshow and stop the recording. I was actually surprised at this point that I even got AirPlay to work. Now it does say here that it was unable to connect to Airshow, Rob's iPhone. However, if I go into the video, you will see that it has done a recording here and we can watch it. So let's tap on it and press play. I should start recording. It did look as if it started a recording with a screen shift there. We can see the red bar at the top. So let's very quickly go to, I don't know, Clash Royale and maybe open <laughs> All right, let's stop the video right there and take a look at what on earth has gone here. It looks as if the recording has duplicated the screen and shrunk one of them so you get a kind of a background image, but also a lot of flashing and distortion. On multiple tests, this effect seemed to happen whenever I went into an application. I'm not sure if this is because it's changing the screen resolution, but it did indeed look very odd. Here's another demonstration of me opening a chest on Clash Royale, and as you can see, there's all sorts of horrible distortion in the background. And if you're thinking that just might happen on Clash Royale, well, I tested the same thing on Super Mario Run, and I got exactly the same results. And if you're thinking, yeah, just put it through a video editor, that's exactly what I did, and it made absolutely no difference. This is a fundamental error with Airshow screen recording at the source, and there doesn't seem to be any way to fix it. Now, I need to do some more testing before I confirm this, and wait for the official iOS 11 fix, 
but it does look as if Airshow as a screen recorder may now finally be dead. Yes, it does still screen record and it gives you a video at the end of it, but there is something going terribly wrong with the actual recording process. And the reason I say it's probably dead is because this app is no longer officially supported. There's going to be no updates on it. This is not going to be fixed by the developers. We have to maybe hope that there is some fundamental bug in iOS 11 that needs to be fixed regardless of their show, which will then miraculously make it work. But I would say the signs are very worrying for what was the world's best screen recorder. So that leaves us with one screen recorder left to try, and that is Evrecord, an application that has been updated on a very regular basis, but is still buggy. But does it work in any way, shape or form on iOS 11? Let's do a test. In order to start a recording, if you've not seen Evrecord before, you simply type in a name of a video. And once you press done, that will automatically confirm you to start a recording and then it will take you to a recording screen where it will automatically start recording, throw you back to a home screen and here we are. So I'm going to quickly go to Clash Royale and uh, if it's recording I'm going to play a game and what we're going to do is look at the results uh, in a little second once I've done a battle. Okay I finished with my recording, I'm going to tap done, that will say am I sure, if I press yes that will start compiling the video which means that it should be immediately converted to something that I can use and that usually takes a couple of minutes so once that's done we'll check back and see what the results are. Now unfortunately things got a little discouraging at this point because that compiling whirly gig stayed there for a good five minutes and through frustration I shut down the program thinking it hadn't worked but then when I went back to Evrecord it had actually compiled the video and this is the result. First thing, it runs beautifully in terms of display and video, no glitching and it's running at the right speed which has been a problem with Evrecord in the past, I think more with iPads. But there is one thing you can't hear and that's because there's no sound. Even when I was playing the game it wasn't outputting any sound and it didn't record any internal sounds. Again I think that's a bug with Evrecord and they are working to fix that. So in summary with Evrecord it looks as if it does work on iOS 11 well Every code just needs to fix all the bugs that are still outstanding in their current version which is 1.14 and they're soon to release 1.15. I've been in discussions with them over Twitter on direct messages and that's coming out very soon so stay tuned for that and it looks as if every chord could potentially be the future of iOS screen recording outside of the official application which as of now we're not sure how well it's going to work. It doesn't have any orientation options at the moment, it doesn't have any options in terms of frame rate and uh, quality, so does that mean that screen recording is still going to carry on as a third party application support as well as the official one? Every chord seemed keen on doing that so fingers crossed and I really do mean fingers crossed, if they fix all their bugs, we still have another alternative. Now of course we are still a few months away from the official release of iOS 11, so a lot could happen in that time, but in summary, if you think about how the official screen recorder doesn't quite work yet well with orientation, and the fact that all the existing screen recorders are somewhat broken on iOS 11, we're in an even worse state if you upgrade to iOS 11. So my advice is definitely don't do that. I'm going to continue using a device on iOS 11 so I can keep it updated as we move closer to the official release. But yeah, as it stands now, I wouldn't touch iOS 11 if you're absolutely desperate to screen record. Stay on iOS 10 because hopefully every cause updated app is going to be brilliant to use and hopefully Airshow 061, which should still work on iOS 10, will be available soon again as well. If you have any questions, do pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to try and help you. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Yeah, I can see why these are really addictive.